Hello dear students, um, welcome to the GCE panel once more. Uh, today we are looking at June 2022 Pure Math Mechanics and Pure Math Statistics uh, Paper 2, Question 4. We are begging on you guys to watch this paper to the end, to share our videos, to leave your comments and your likes so that other students can join and benefit from these resources that actually motivate them to prepare for their exams. We thank you so much. And we hope that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and click on these notifications so that whenever you upload a video, you are notified. Don't forget to watch Paper 3 for Pure Math Mechanics and Paper 3 for Pure Math Statistics. God bless you as you prepare for your exams. So the question reads, given that cos theta minus uh, over 1 minus tan theta plus sine theta all over 1 minus cos theta is f of theta prove that f of theta is equal to cos theta plus sine theta so with this proof uh, the first thing students do is that many students want to look for the lcm and simplify that is going to be actually a longer method a shorter way to do the same thing is to simplify to work out this tan theta and this cos theta in their simplified forms of um, primary values that is a sine theta on cos theta and here cos theta on sine theta as follows so here in a we have f of theta equals cos theta on 1 minus tan theta plus sine theta all that on 1 minus uh, cos theta uh, this should be equal to so this should be equal to cos theta all that over 1 minus sine theta and cos theta plus sine theta all that over 1 minus cos theta on sine theta. So here we multiply each of them expressions by its um, denominator. So multiplying numerator and denominator here by cos theta, we are going to have cos square theta all that over cos theta minus sine theta. Plus here we will have We will have a sine theta, all that on one minus cos theta on sine theta, which will give us sine square theta on sine theta minus cos theta. So now, if you look at these denominators, you will see that sine theta minus cos theta can be written as negative into cos theta minus sine theta. So we have the same uh, denominators. In that case, we will now have this plus here becomes negative because we have factorized out the negative sign. So cos theta minus sine theta. Now these numbers are the same. We can work with the numerators. That will give us cos square theta minus sine square theta. All that on cos theta minus sine theta. We uh, factorize the numerator. Since the difference of two squares, we are going to have um, cos uh, theta minus sine theta into cos theta plus sine theta. When you cancel out, we will be left just with cos theta plus sine theta as required. So guys, this is the shortest and fastest way to do this. There are other methods which you can follow, but um, you see that this is short and fast, unlike the other complex ways. Note that in an exam, what you need is speed and accuracy. Okay? So the shorter the method, the better, as long as it's explicit. Guys, we are begging on you. Please, as you watch our videos, make sure that you subscribe so that we will know that our content is interesting to you out there and we will make more. Leave your contents and your likes and your comments so that we will know what more we need to work on, what you need and how it's helping you. From those comments, those subscriptions and those shares, guys, please don't forget to share our videos on all WhatsApp groups in which you find yourself. Share them on Facebook pages where there are students and teachers and so on so that we can actually know where you find yourself and what you get okay so now this uh, b part is saying that we should express now this thing in the form uh, r sine theta plus lambda so with this one you just have to expand this uh, r sine theta plus lambda that's the right hand side right so this gives us r sine theta cos lambda plus r cos lambda sine 
cos theta sine lambda. Now, equation coefficients here, the ones in red, you see that r cos lambda is equal to 1, okay? And uh, r sine lambda is also equal to 1. So, for me, our r will be equal to the root of the sum of squares of 1 and 1. That's root 2. While our lambda will be equal to r tan 1. r tan 1 is pi on 4. So, therefore, our f of theta is equal to root 2 sine theta plus pi on 4. And the last part, find the general solution of the equation f of theta equals 1. You just need to um, continue with the last part, that's uh, f of theta, which is root 2 sine theta plus pi on 4. We just equate that to 1. That will give us sine theta plus pi on 4 equals 1 on root 2. And 1 on root 2 is the same as sine pi on 4, right? So sine theta plus pi on 4 equals sine pi on 4. And from this identity of sine A equals sine B implies A is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n B times B, we are going to apply this here to get the general solution, where n is an element of the set of integers. So theta plus pi on 4 should be equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n times pi on 4. Then carrying pi on 4 to the right hand side or subtracting pi on 4 from both sides, we are going to have that's where well, ends an element of the set of integers and this is all for this question thank you very much and uh, don't forget to watch the next part goodbye GC Panel.